These parents lost not one, but two babies consecutively. Yes, you heard that right. Kay got married, having the blessings of her parents. We are blessed with a baby girl, but unfortunately she passed on. And later we are blessed with another child, baby boy. The same same scenario occurred. At seven months, he left. This young couple went through a very tough time, feeling lost and starting to believe they might never have kids. But then something amazing happened. They had not one, not two, not three, but four beautiful babies, turning their sadness into incredible joy. We lost two of our kids, but God repaid with double. And we are so happy that at our age, we can give a story for encouragement. Raising a single child presents its own set of challenges and managing twins can be even more demanding. So how does this couple handle the extraordinary task of raising quadruplets? We traveled to Naivasha, Kenya, to meet this family and hear their inspiring story. My name is Ezekiel Kalori Dego. I live in Naivasha, Kenya. Uh, I have a story of a life. Uh, and uh, I met my wife that was around 2014. We got married, customary, having the blessings of our parents. And later, we are blessed with a baby girl. That was around 2016. But unfortunately, she passed on uh, at the age of six months. And we are so hurt. It was sad for us as a young couple. It challenged us so much. Through the grace of God, we overcame. The life continued. Greater on, on 2017, we are blessed with another child, baby boy, and the same same scenario occurred. At seven months, he left. We are so devastated, and uh, it was hard for us as a family, as a couple. The couple was overwhelmed with fear, struggling to comprehend why they faced such heartbreak, not just once, but twice. In search of answers, they turned to medical experts. The findings from their consultations were shocking as well. We, we tried to look for solutions and why was it happening at that age, around six, seven months. And uh, the, the, the cause of the death, doctors say that it was out of pneumonia. Severe pneumonia, I think. And uh, we are so frustrated with life. Almost giving up as young couple. And uh, God help, helped us that we overcame still. But it was not easy. But we thank God for this far. He has taken us. Because we tried many things, find solutions, friends, family. But we thank God that it came to pass. It was a challenge because uh, having children when they depart to any parent, it is not easy. And it's very challenging, traumatizing. And sometimes I think we were so depressed. We needed someone to talk to. But I thank God we had family and friends, so they supported us. It took a long time for Teresia to get pregnant again, and when she finally did, she couldn't feel happy about it. She was scared all the time, thinking something bad might happen soon. But just when everything seemed confusing and scary, something amazing happened. 2020. January. In January 2020, I found out I was pregnant, but soon after, I started feeling very sick. I became weak and had trouble breathing, so they rushed me to the hospital. I was scared, thinking I might lose the baby early, but during the scan, the doctor asked if we had twins in our family. 
I said no. And that's when she surprised us by revealing we were expecting quadruplets, not just one baby. I was in disbelief and even suggested the doctor might be wrong. Despite the doctor's assurance, my past experiences haunted me, leaving me worried that something might happen to my babies six months down the line. However, my husband was my rock, always comforting and reassuring me, insisting that things would be different and better this time. My wife was taken to hospital and she was hosted there because doctors say that it would be a challenge when she stay away from hospital. So she was hosted there. I remember it was the time Corona hit the country and we were locked down. So I had many challenges. Only one person getting to hospital. So I had to take care of everything. Like I had, I had to do nothing. Cause in the morning, afternoon, in the evening, I have to take something to hospital. So my routine was from house to hospital, home, hospital, home. So it was not uh, an easy journey, but I was so happy that at least finally God has heard our prayers after taking our two children's. Now he's repaying back. So in one side I was happy and on the other hand I feared a lot of how will I go. Will I be able to take care of the children? Uh, coming from a humble background with no job in our country, we call them Jokari in the construction site. And until now, that is what I do. So after taking my wife to the hospital, she delivered the quadruplets on 5th May 2020. And through CS, it is a serious section. And uh, we thank God she delivered safely health kids uh, but one of them was too small but not too small because she had attained 1.7 kgs and the others were over two two kilograms so I think my wife is a strong woman the day they welcomed four healthy quadruplets into the world became the most significant day of their lives. Thankfully, these little miracles have grown and surpassed the seven-month milestone, still thriving and healthy. Seeing their children grow and flourish has brought immense joy and happiness to the parents, marking a new chapter filled with hope and celebration. In Corona. Delivering my children amidst the COVID pandemic, with lockdowns in effect and without a job, presented an unimaginable challenge. The thought of caring for four newborns under such circumstances was overwhelming. I constantly worried about our survival, considering our financial instability and the basic needs of our growing family. Breastfeeding the quadruplets were particularly challenging. They looked so alike that I often couldn't remember who had been fed and who hadn't. Additionally, the stress of our situation, including concerns about rent and other problems, sometimes led to a decrease in my breast milk supply. Fortunately, we were able to find formula milk, which became a dependable source of nutrition for them during those trying times. I have a very supportive husband. With four babies, every purchase, be it clothes or food, had to be quadrupled. This requirement posed a significant challenge, especially during a time when employment opportunities were scarce for everyone. Despite these hardships, there's a silver lining. The children have grown and are now embarking on their school journey. Raising the contraprets, um, it is not an easy journey. We struggled because uh, uh, she got some stress and breastfeeding was so poor. So we had to do formula and it was so expensive. Uh, having four kids being sustained with formula at least none. It's not easy. 
Um, we got to hustle here and there so that we can be able to do that. That and the doctors had advised that we keep them on formula until six months. So that is what we did, and uh, through the grace of God, we managed. We used to go to hospital for checkups after two weeks after two weeks. Uh, in that corona time, so we were so drained, exhausted with everything. And remember, that is not the end of challenge, because anything you do, you have to do four times. Anything you do, you have to do it four times. Whether you buy a shoe or a dress, a sweater, you must take it in four. But we thank God for this far. It has not been an easy journey. Now they are almost five, four years um, and they are already in school. We have strained a lot. Uh, of course, we are, we are not that. We don't have a lot of capability. So when the time came to take them to school, from school there before, I have strained a lot. Challenges of paying rent, feeding them, giving them a good life. So that we thank God they are healthy. So when what we get, we eat, and we are, we are happy for that and we thank God. The immense joy these children bring to their family is palpable. Whenever the parents engage in playtime with them, it momentarily erases the horrific and traumatic memories of losing their two children previously. They often reflect on how this experience has been the greatest gift they could have asked for, feeling as though their prayers was answered far beyond their expectations. While the arrival of these quadruplets has brought much happiness, the parents acknowledge that the transition to schooling has introduced a new set of challenges to navigate. At the moment, they are all going to school which also wasn't that easy when buying their school requirements and uniforms. And since they only have one pair each, whenever I wash their clothes, it becomes more challenging. We also struggle with feeding them well as we don't have enough. That's when I think of going to look for a job, but then who can be with them here at home and who would take them to school? Taking them to a daycare is also more expensive than the money we pay for rent because there are four of them and we can't afford it. Yet, it would be the solution. So, we decided that I should stay at home and my husband should be the one to go to work and provide. People who don't know us often mistake us for rich people, yet we often take debts in the neighborhood and sometimes fail to pay back. We had to take them to school. Like the other shells at the age. So, that is where the challenge, the biggest, the, uh, the second big challenge came. The first one was sustaining them with formula. Now then there is here, the here comes paying for school fees, taking them to school. Because where they go to school, uh, we are not capable of taking them to a private school or a school which got transport that they can be picked at the gate. So we took them to public school. And it's uh, a distance from here, like three kilometers. And since we cannot be able to pay for a taxi or anything, at least we use the convenient means for us given it a distance and walking with her in the morning, it, it might be a challenge. And uh, so in the morning we wake up, we get them ready. That is teamwork. 
because in some cases, some cases are so special. So we have to team up with my wife so that we can prepare them for school in the morning and take them from school in the evening. So it's like a full-time job taking care of them because uh, you have to take them in the morning and pick them in the evening. I thank God that at least we are in school now. Even if there is challenges here and there, then given that we, are, we got no job, really, we struggle a lot. Sometimes even supplying the needs in school is a challenge. Uh, but yeah, it's a challenge. We take them in the morning, so we get them prepared. That is around six. We leave at seven. We take our motorcycle to school, which is very risky. Leave us because. We usually sit on our motorbike. The four kids and and I, we go for to school. I leave them, and then later on in the evening, around three, I take them back home. And it has not been an easy task. And even that, we are even challenged then raising them and uh, even. Basic needs, the charities, we store in a lot. But given that we are healthy and uh, we are sound, we will still hold on with this. And this goes to encourage someone out there who is going through a lot. But also be encouraged that there is God in heaven who hears our prayers. And he never leave us. Given that we are, and we are starting, we lost two of our kids. But God repaid with double. And we are so happy that at our age, we can give a story for encouragement to pass on. Out there, we is going through a lot. And giving hope that... We don't have to give up. Even if depressed, never take your life. Be encouraged that one day things will happen and all things will fall into their places. Having four children at once was a blessing, but it's safe to say they were never prepared for the challenges that come with raising quadruplets. Meeting their basic needs and providing for them has been incredibly challenging. As a result, they are now reaching out and requesting support. Raising quadruplets is no easy task. Only parents who have four children truly understand the challenges we face. Whatever we need, whether it be shoes, clothes or anything else, it must be multiplied by four. If there is a kind-hearted Samaritan out there, we humbly ask for your support. God will surely reward you for your generosity. So I'm reaching out out there to any person, kind-hearted, who can support us through giving sponsorship or uh, any sort of help for our contract. We really appreciate and we'll be so delighted to welcome in help. So out there, if you're here watching or listening to this story, we pray that if we attain favor before you, we accept any help from you and may God bless you. We can contribute and help this couple raise these children by donating on givinglife.com. 
with links found in the description and pinned in the top comments. Remember, no form of support is ever small. This family's story serves as a powerful reminder. Even in our darkest moments, we should never lose hope, for blessings may be just around the corner. Their journey illustrates that despite facing immense challenges and hardships, perseverance and faith can lead to unexpected and abundant blessings. Thank you for watching. I am Simon Greenwood, and this is Aframax English. Remember to subscribe.